Hey guys, today we are going to create a fighting scenery from my favorite Switch game, Mario and Rabbits. Oh boy, oh boy, he said. This is Mario and Rabbits, and it's my favorite game for the Switch. And I am really excited, not only that we will create this amazing project today. No, this video, this creation is a collaboration with Ubisoft and their new released YouTube channel, channel GTV. What are they doing at GTV? They are celebrating games in the most perfect way in different series. One of them is crafts, obviously. And this is what I am here for. What I did for GTV. I created this creation in an extended video version of this video. I did it in German because GTV started in Germany and in France. And hopefully there will be an English version of this channel in the future. So I would be really excited to create many, many more projects for GTV, for Ubisoft. And now let's have a look what we are doing here, what we are creating today. This beautiful landscape, this beautiful scenery from the game Mario and Rabbits. And I'm not really sure if you're familiar with the game. It's a strategic game where you're playing Mario and his friends and the good rabbits against the bad rabbits. And the important thing about this game, it's not a jump and run game as many, many Mario games are. It's really strategic. You have to fight the bad rabbits, you have to choose your weapons, you have to crawl your way through the different beautiful designed levels, like this one. This one was always my favorite one. It's the first one, very beautiful, with the grass, with different plants, with the rocks, for example. And now we are creating this outline, which has a function inside the game. This is the barrier in which you can move. And we have also this beautiful pattern on the grass. It looks like one of the bad rabbits did some crazy um, <laughs> design on, on the ground. Probably it was his task to mow the lawn. These are the very characteristic bricks of the Mario world. And of course we got many of these as barriers inside the game with a little bit of grass on top. And we have another one. Oh, it already looks so beautiful. Now let's place it on this baking tray. And we take a little bit of brown to create these branches into the bush. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Maybe the toothbrush of death for a nice texture. And everywhere in this world of Mario and Rabbits, we have this red grass popping out of the ground. And we need some more aluminum wire to create the square trees, which you see also everywhere in this world. I really fell in love how the leaves look like on these trees. And then we are almost finished with the very first part of today's creation with the world itself. I removed a little bit of the green grass. You see this square, this wooden square for the waterfall. But for now, let's put it into the oven. Freshly baked landscape. And now let's remove a little bit of the wood of these wooden planks that we have that we have enough space for the blue clay, for the bright blue clay. I used the aqua clay and threw in a little bit of white as well. Then we have some further rocks, of course. And oh, look at that. It already looks so vacation-like. This will be, this will be the part where we will also stick in some aluminum wire for these 
Hmm, special flowers. I'm not really sure if they have a special name. These are some leaves which we will use to decorate the whole landscape as well. Quite simple to create. Just use a very or make a very thin layer of green clay. And now for these flowers we will make a beautiful color gradient and you have seen it many many times how to create a beautiful color gradient. Watch the full, the extended version on GTV on the channel. I will link it at the end of this video. And we can now focus on placing it in the landscape. We have one big flower and two smaller ones. And we also add a beautiful tiny yellow detail that it really looks like a flower. And after oven hardening, we will also draw some lines on these flowers, on the blossoms. Now these will be some further blossoms. And the coins, the Mario coins, we all laugh. I'm not really sure how many of these I will use in the scenery, but well, let's just create six, seven, eight, seven, seven of these. This is the flag. When you have played Mario and Rabbits, you know that you always, when you, when cleared a stage or cleared an area, the flag changes from the black one with a rabbit to the golden blue one for Super Mario. These are the pipes, which you can also use to get to another level. Not level level, but just a different floor of one level. Let's put this aside, and this is the moment everyone is waiting for. The liquid clay we will use to create this beautiful waterfall. And now we are in a hurry. Let's put this into the oven. And meanwhile, we can start working on tiny, tiny Super Mario with blue. We start creating the trousers. We start creating the shoes which just contain out of two different colors, dark brown and ochre. And then we have this red for his shirt. And adding some tiny, tiny details. The very first arm as well. We have another outline around the shoes, the buttons, the gloves, the white characteristic gloves for Super Mario. And maybe we can use this wire as as, yeah, well, as the amateur for this arm, because we have the blaster, and later, when you have seen the thumbnail, you see where this is going. We want to create this moment where he is shooting one of the bad rabbits and catching him in the air. Meanwhile, we have created a tiny Super Mario face as well. Now we are adding the cap with this white space where we will draw the legendary M onto after oven hardening. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Now let's focus on one of the bad rabbits. Ah, it would have been so nice to create many, many more of these. But, well, the, that would have been too time consuming and I decided to just go with one beautiful guy which just got shot right in the air and he looks quite surprised. Look at his face. <laughs> freshly baked Mario and freshly baked Bad Rabbit. Now we take this pen, this acrylic pen to create the tattoo, the design which he has in his face. And we will glue the eyes on top, painting the iris with the thinnest pen I could find. <laughs> and also the blaster. I am not sure what the name is of this blaster. Let me know in the comments when you are sure about that. And now let's get back to the landscape and let's also put together everything. We are assembling all the different parts. For now, I thought it would be nice to add some more details to the river, to this bubbling waterfall and now these are all the different parts we start with a pipe let's put it right there and then we have all these beautiful tiny blossoms in the extended version you see how i tried 
to, to match a yellow one and a pink one together because this is the design in the game. Then we have the coins. Three of these should go there. The flag itself is printed on paper. So I did a screenshot and used it for the, well, as a blueprint for the flag itself, adding some wool to the stream, steam, stream of the blaster. Oh, it looks so funny. We gave this guy a belly button and we can place it inside the scenery, adding some yellow acrylic paint, some transparent polish. We're almost there, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful scenery from the game Mario and Rabbids. Again, check out GTV. I will link it at the end of this video and also in the description. Oh, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> I guess. That's it, Mario and Rabbids, and they are fighting. What a crazy creation this is. Go check out all the other amazing projects. Go check out me speaking German and the extended version of this video, GTV. I will link it right there, the new channel. It's amazing. I'm proud to be part of this collaboration. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye. Yeah.